The Lord Explains The Inner and Outer Court A Wise Servant and the Line Trumpet Call of God October 5th, 2010 From the Lord, our God and Savior the Lord's words spoken to Timothy during an online fellowship for a brother in Christ and for all those who have ears to hear. A brother in Christ asked, Hey, Timothy, I'm being faced with a few dilemmas. A close friend made me the godfather of her son. They are having a birthday celebration for him this Sabbath, then having him christened at the local church. I've been praying about this and feel that it would be okay to go to the birthday, but I'm not sure about the christening. I want to do what is right in the Lord's sight, having proper reasoning for my decision. The Lord answered, My son, you ask of my servant questions, yet in the asking you ask me. Before you have I said many things of great importance, of which you have put forth no answer, nor offered yourself in place of your lack. And now you come before me to ask of my servant things regarding obedience, concerning that which I have called you to be separate from. Therefore, here is my answer. One who serves me in truth must show themselves worthy to serve according to that which must be first, also placing that which they love to the side, embracing the call of the Lord fully. Or how shall I send them? I speak not of being made worthy according to my sacrifice, being accepted in the Beloved, but of the worthiness shown by those who forsake their lives in this world, that they might find their life in me, which is life eternal. Behold, I shall speak shortly, and in a loud voice I shall reveal my will through my servant, and he shall write, and the line shall be drawn, it shall be set, and no one will pass over it. Lo, I tell you a mystery which shall be made known. Those who depart and obey my voice will pass to one side, and those who refuse to the other one on this side and many on the other. And those who pass over to those who remain on this side shall escape, and some of them shall serve. While those who refuse my voice, even to rebel against me, shall remain on their own part, on the other side of the line which the Lord shall draw. By this shall the inner court and the outer court be measured and all found on the outer court shall surely die. For they remain outside, though they hold fast inside their own houses, which I hate, placing all their faith in a house doomed to destruction, which must shortly be torn down. Yet those who come out from among them, from the churches, shall enter the inner court, though they are seen as outcasts and heretics. These shall surely live, escaping all these things which I am about to do. Behold, I have given my servant, whom I love, a foretaste of that which I am about to do, even of this last trumpet blast, which is about to sound for this short season, before the time. I am the Lord. A brother in Christ. Amen. I may have been foolish. I am not seeing with greater eyes. Is that birthday on the Sabbath wrongful also? I am so caught up on these small matters. This is not good. The Lord. My son, a wise servant who lacks understanding, seeks out a prophet of the Lord who is true 
that he might receive understanding by the word of the Lord. Yet wiser still is the man who would be my servant, who seeks out the things of God by way of him who was sent and is about to return, that he might understand by the word of the Lord spoken already. For a full plate left uneaten grows cold, and is thrown to the dogs after the guests have departed, says the Lord.